Hello, welcome to Go Game Yourself. I'm Jordan, and I'm playing Hearthstone, and I'm dipping into the Tavern Brawl update from last week. But I'm having a look at this week's rule set, which is called Banana Brawl. Mukla is a year older, and he loves bananas. Whenever one of your minions dies, he gives you a banana to celebrate. So this will be interesting. I'm not sure if players are playing as Mukla. I'm not sure what the deal is here. But essentially, we had to create a deck. We It was open to create whatever we wanted so I have created a version of my druid deck that I've been using which I think is a trump deck from a load of months back that I put together and tried out and I think I've changed a couple of things like I have brought in Emperor Thorazan and I've brought in the antique Hailbot because I can't remember what the hell the last card was in the deck when I was putting this together one thing I will stipulate I'm not a hearthstone, hearthstone expert, not by any stretch of the imagination. Nope, I just enjoy playing it, and I want to start. I want to start doing some videos, and who knows? I might actually get better at this thing. I do enjoy playing it, and I do try to play a little bit every day when I can. But no, I am not an expert, so I have one day left to enjoy the banana brawl. So let's have a game. We are not going to start with Emperor Thorazon in our hand. Instead, we're gonna start with nothing that we can make any use of. Can we have Emperor Thorazon back now for the next turn, please? Well, that's a little unfortunate. But again, it will depend on what this player plays, what they put down on the board. So this deck that I'm using, it's pretty strong in the mid to late game because that's when all its minions can be played and they're pretty powerful they can change the game around and there's Emperor Thorazon right on time we could play him but there's a risk of him being killed and then I also need more cards anyway so I think should I risk it and play him why not This will be interesting to see if how long he lasts. I don't see him lasting past this turn against a rogue. I don't know. I don't know the rogue decks too well in terms of the cost of their cards. But they do have an assassinate minion card. And they have other ones where they can return a minion. If he got returned, it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. So, yeah, there's something going to happen to him anyway. If he can last until the next turn, I'll be happy with that. But this player is going to try to go through as many cards as possible, it seems to get rid of him. Which might not be a bad thing. Okay, so he lasted at least one turn. Now he's going to reduce the cost of the Ancient of Lore, which will be very helpful, especially to get more cards. And also Wrath is down to zero cost now. So if another minion is played, and it's got a low enough health, we should be able to take care of it. Now he's definitely going to die, but we can play Ancient of Lore in the next turn to draw more cards and have a, and still have a 5-5 five, five on the board. See? I'm psychic, really. And I get a banana. Oh, have a banana. So this player has two bananas so far. If they get a banana for everything that they've done, for every minion that they've killed, not everything they've done, for every minion that is of theirs that has died, they get a banana. And what does a banana do? It gives you 1-1. One, one.
Actually, I'm going to use this. Do two damage. And then one damage this to get a card. And I think I'll keep my banana to use with the sludge belcher, but I will attack with the shade of Naxxramas. So ideally what I'm hoping the player will do here is forfeit. And I will win. Well, that's not the worst thing they've happened. Oh, what's this? A deviant banana. Interesting. Huh. That is definitely interesting. So you're gonna get looks like you're gonna get different banana cards, kinda like the the mech magic cards. Is that what is that the right term for it? Or the, the spare parts cards, that's it. That's what I'm that's the phrase I'm after. There could be other ones which will do other things, like maybe give you more attack or more health. Well, I'm not sure yet. But that's interesting. So on my next turn I can swap the attack and div uh, oh, there we go. Yay! A win! I could have swapped the attack and health of one of those characters in the next turn and done more damage. But the player has decided to forfeit and done exactly what I hoped they would do. And I've earned a pack. Let's have a look to see what I've to see what I've won. My winnings for the day. As usual, nothing of use. So I'm going to play another game in Tavern Brawl. I had a momentary interruption there. Um, I'm up visiting my parents at the moment, and my I've got a got a couple of got a couple of post items to pick up, and my pop shield just arrived. So I'm trying it out. So if you've noticed, if there's a difference in the sound at all, it's possibly a result of my pop shield. I will keep Keeper of the Grove. That's not a bad starting hand. Although wild growth, I tend not to use wild growth at the start of the matches anymore. I don't know what other players do. I tend to keep it until turn 10 so it will allow me to draw other cards. Is someone injured? And that's the reason for keeping Keeper of the Grove. Because if need be we can silence it, but that probably also depended on whether or not we got Shade of Naxxramas, which we have. And we also have this guy. Okay, interesting. Now I might play this and play Keeper of the Grove to silence that. Well, that didn't work as quite as planned. But it does mean I can play Sludge Belcher on the next turn. Let's get rid of that. It's a pity I didn't have a swipe or something. Might have been useful. Ah! Oh, have a banana. So he's building him up. Well, I don't think there's any point in giving these bananas to this guy, although maybe now. At the start of my turn he's gonna get what he needs. And we'll just get rid of this guy. I 
so far, three normal bananas, three very ordinary looking bananas. And I'm going to turn this guy into Banana Man on the next turn by giving him all of the bananas. Actually, I'm not going to... Maybe I will do that. Because he's doing it. Oh, it's a banana fight. Well, let's do this first of all. And let's give... I'm going to save that, actually. Because he may have a way to deal with my shield master. Oh, hey, that's mine. So these my cards. I know it's part of the game, but that does really annoy me. <laughs> when priest decks use that, and go, oh, they've got more cards, and they're also my cards, and oh, I'm in for a rough time of it. Should I waste a banana? Why not? I need to catch up a bit on the damage to the opponent. But I'm, pr I'm pretty happy with this right now. Less happy with that. Ooh, big banana. Very good. Well, I have a big banana as well. Now what I could do is play this on him and then use the big game hunter. I actually might do that. Or I could just... Yeah, I like to get this hair on the board as soon as I can, and I've made the mistake of not getting her on sooner. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to say now would be a good time to use Big Game Hunter to get rid of that. Ah, that was bad. I guess that's the other risk with all these bananas. So I'm going to play a few of these. Actually, I will play the big banana on this guy. I uh, never thought I would say something like that. And I'll play the banana on Sludge Belcher. Move my microphone. I forgot that this desk that I'm working from has a second little shelf. I'm still getting comfortable in this temporary setup for, for the weekend. So this, the opponent has played Prophet Villain. Villain? Velen. That's been happening a lot recently, Velen. And... The Light Warden, 16 on the board, with 4, yeah, I think I can win. Just to be certain. Oh, I didn't even need that, brilliant. Hey, I win. I did quite well there. I'm quite pleased with that. Huzzah, victory. So that's this week's Tavern Brawl. I'll just play a couple of matches for now. I might record some more. I'll see how I get on. But for now, I've been Jordan. This has been Hearthstone and this has been Go Game Yourself. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video, leave any comments if you enjoyed it, or if you didn't, leave some constructive feedback. That'd be helpful. And subscribe to the channel for more updates. Cheerio!